What I studied at um, Texas A&M Visualization Sciences is uh, the degree is um, makes what we call technical directors. And technical directors are usually uh, people who are efficient in lighting, modeling, texturing. Very few of us actually animate. That's, that's a completely different skill. But we are, we are in computer software programming, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, my expertise coming out of the visualization sciences was modeling because my background was architecture. So I did a lot of sculpting and modeling. And my uh, second major was lighting. When I first joined Pixar, they needed a lighter on the set of Jerry's Game, on the movie Jerry's Game, and I was picked. And I completely shifted my focus from wanting to be a modeler to be becoming a lighter. By the time I finished Jerry's Game, I joined Bugs Life, and it was such a beautiful experience that at the end, um, I was ready to move on and go back, move back to modeling. I got promoted to become a director of photography lighting. And that, that was a turning point for me between my modeling sculpting skills and my lighting skills. Um, over the years, every movie I worked on, you know, you build up experience and you learn uh, quite a bit. One thing I have noticed is for every movie I work on, I do quite a bit of research. And my research is usually based on live action footage. And I usually try to figure out how live action DPs, DOPs, do, do the trick. And it's pretty amazing how similar we are technology-wise. Uh, even sometimes the terminology. They talk exposure, we talk exposure. We, they talk about stopping, exposing up and down. We do the same thing. The only difference is our set is virtual, is, is uh, in the computer, and their set is, is on an actual set. There are some advantages to actually working in, in, in computers. If you want to shoot a, a sunrise scene, you don't have to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and rush and set up. You can shoot it at 10 o'clock and still send right. So in that sense, it's cool. But uh, the problem with computer graphics that I find today, it's not real time. The feedback is still slow compared to live action. Live action, if you want to explore your lighting, you just move your lighting, right? And you get the feedback instantaneously. In uh, computer graphics, you move the lighting and you wait for the image to render. You move it again, you wait for the image to render. So it's still slow. There's a big push to enhance the technology, make it real time. But other than that, I think the two uh, DPs in live action, uh, we pretty much speak the same language. Uh, I, I read quite a, quite a few uh, blogs about how DPs work, and it's, it's pretty similar to how we do things. A regular day at Pixar. Okay, first I drive the kids to school, and I make it to Pixar around 9.15. Um, the, in production, the first 15 minutes, I just try to catch up on email. There's, there's always like morning email. And then I check in with my manager to figure out how the day is planned. And basically, I have a time card of every hour and what we do. In production, there's a big block that we call walkthroughs, where I, I try to see everyone on my team. I'm in the room set up with a, with a screen and everything. And um, this crew was around 25 people. I try to see 25 people one at a time. And they come and they present the work they did the previous night. If it's ready, I'll say, OK, let's show it to the director. If there are some notes, I give the notes and they go back to their office and they'll work on that. Other than that, in the afternoon, I attend some meetings. I do a little bit of uh, planning for the next day. And so the story goes for the next day and day after. There's walkthroughs. There's some meetings and some planning. At the end of the week is when we present our work to the director. It's a very big deal. We try to, we have a quota. You know, you ha a movie is 1,600, 1,800 shots. And every week you have to hit a certain number just to finish the movie on time. So we have a quota that we're shooting for. So there's that technical uh, challenge we have to, to hit. But also we have artistic demands that the director expects. And we try to meet those. So at the end of the week, we gather all the, the, the crew together with the director and a bunch of people from outside uh, lighting. It's a, usually a team of 100 people. We are in a screening room in a theater, and we're looking at one scene at a time and hoping that the director likes it and says, final. Final means I don't need to see the shot again. You can take it out of lighting onto the next department. And that's the routine we do. That's during production. In pre-production, it's a lot more traveling, field trips. I always have my camera with me. I'm always researching. I usually identify a dozen, sometimes two dozen projects, and, 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 and one at a time try to figure out how to answer um, the, the, these projects. You know, I've, uh, 
I've worked with very few animators, Lebanese animators. Uh, one specifically came to Pixar and did an internship, Nereg Kalentrion. And I was blown away by the talent. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty impressive because of, you know, they, he had just one computer. He didn't have the luxury of a thousand computers like we had. And the pieces that he created are world class. And you can see him on his website. I was equally impressed. And even Pixar, when they saw his work. I, th I think the ta talent at Pixar is real, it's raw, and it just needs exposure. And after that, it's, you know, it's the, the, the sky's the limit. So I can't wait for the opportunity to start seeing a lot of the Lebanese talent uh, grow. There are quite a few Lebanese in the industry uh, that I know of in, the least, uh, in, in, the, in San Francisco. At Pixar, we have at least two Lebanese people that I work with. Um, and uh, in LA, there's quite a few uh, uh, companies with Lebanese folks too. So the talent is there, it just needs exposure. You know, uh, the, the Lebanese in me and in most of us that I realize and see, we work very hard and we don't realize it, but we actually work very hard. And that's completely appreciated outside of Lebanon, I've noticed. In, um, I call it the immigrant skills or the immigrant mentality. We work hard, we treat our businesses like our own, and that's looked at very, regarded very highly. I've always said, believe in your dreams, and that's the message of our movie too, and the rest is easy. And just have that passion, that, that spark that you, that you believe in, and the rest is easy. Um, in terms of cultures between uh, the American culture and the, the U.S., they're, to me, they're very similar at the core. Because at the end of the day, you're making a movie, and cultures kind of go away. And you're all together to make an image. And it's not about culture, it's not about politics, it's about making art. And it kind of transcends all of that. So if you are passionate about art, if you're pa passionate about movie making, uh, keep going. Uh, the planet is shrinking, the world of animation is growing, it's the, a lot of work is being done outside the U.S. now, and it's just a matter of time before you get an opportunity to, to, to interview or talk to one of the big, uh, big companies. Thank you. Thank you.